I'm having technical difficulties. Hi. Merry Christmas. Happy solstice. How you doing? A little behind. Let me see. Having technical difficulties. Hi. All right. Why the heck am I so dark? I have a Sadie girl. Settle down. Okay. I have a light on me. I don't know why I'm so dark. Okay. Interesting. Boy, I am way behind today. Hi. Hi, everyone. All right. Let me um, switch screens so that it's easier to read. Wow. I'm really struggling here right now. How's that? Is that better? Do I look dark? Okay. Hold on. Hi. Merry Christmas. Happy Solstice. Uh, happy Kwanzaa. Happy late. Uh, the other one. <laughs> Sorry. No. Happy Solstice. I already said that, didn't I? And happy Hanukkah. Belated. Belated happy Hanukkah. I don't know why I'm so dark. I have a light on me. That is so weird. Huh. Let's try. That one's. That's ugly. That's too yellow. That should be working. Huh. Interesting. I don't know why my. No habla German. I want to say hi to a few of you before we get started. So what y'all doing today? Uh, are you all excited to be here? All right. Uh, hey, I'm just going to do a shout out to a few people and do some greetings. And then I kind of have a, I have an agenda today because we have a lot to do. Uh, American True Crime, America True Crime, good to see you. Tanner's Travels, good to see you. Interesting, I just lost you all. Um, huh, this is weird. Pop out chat, pop out chat, pop out chat. Okay, all right. Oh, okay. It's interesting. My screen on my camera looks really uh, dark, darker than I look. It's interesting. Maybe the light behind me. I bet that's it. The sun is beating right behind me. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> All right. I know in replay, watching this stuff is no fun. Okay, so. Oh, that's right. I have a lot of prizes to give away today. I'm excited about that. Um, how y'all doing? Where are you? How's your day been so far? Are you celebrating? Are you doing anything special? All right. Let me see. Hi, Nightshade. Hi, JC Buffalo Gal. Uh, hey, Sarah. Watching uh, Christmas Vacation. That sounds like fun. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Alan and Nella and Rue and Patricia and Anna and Juanita and the Kitty Cat Network and Texas Lady. Um, so the one Texan who still likes me. I always, I always, there was an, there was another lady. I, I thought she was Texas Lady. There was somebody really, really early on who uh, made it very clear she didn't like me. Solo female van life lessons. Good to see you. And in Pennsylvania, just hanging out. Must be pretty cold in your van in Pennsylvania. Uh, although I woke up 28 degrees this morning, so, and I'm, I'm not in Pennsylvania. I'm in the South. All right. How you doing, everyone? Yeah, I, blurriness happens because, uh, am I blurry? Really? I mean, I'm on, I'm not blurry on my computer. I look fine. Just a little dark. And I think it's the light behind me because I've got the sun beating. But anyway, let me tell you uh, what's going to happen today because I've got a lot to give away. Uh, let me see. So why don't we start with a giveaway? The very first thing I'm going to do is give away. So what are we going to do today is I'm going to do, I have some trivia questions. Every 15 minutes, I'm going to do a giveaway. And in between, I've got some storm, uh, some stories. Okay, Ralph, thank you for confirming that the picture and the sound is good. Oh, that's nice, nice shade. I appreciate that. Not, not dark and not blurry. Okay. I am on Starlink, which sometimes can cause a little buffering. So there might be some cases. However, I've got perfectly clear sky. 
Yay. No trees. <laughs> Uh, Stacy, thank you so much for the super chat. That is very sweet of you to give me a tip. I really appreciate it. And if you want your comment to stand out, because I got a lot going on today, a lot of people commenting, or you just want to tip me for the work I do on YouTube, there should be a dollar sign below and you can leave me a tip. You can leave a cute little emoji. You can leave a comment. Uh, and it's just another great way to, uh, to, uh, support my work. Hi, TD Hawk. Good to see you. And all right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be giving something away every 15 minutes with a trivia question. And when I give the trivia question, I'm going to let you guys answer for about 60 seconds because usually I do it right away, but I know some of you delay a little bit uh, just because of your internet connection or whatever. So I'm going to wait a full 60 seconds. Uh, Jesse. Jesse Raven too. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. That's very sweet of you. Um, and let me see. So I'll wait a full 60 seconds and then I will choose someone from at random from the correct answers. At 2.30, I'm going to be announcing 2.30 Pacific time, 5.30 Eastern. I'm going to be announcing the winners of the shop big shop small win big i've got three winners who won the prizes from our small businesses did any of you support our small businesses for the holidays i hope you did there were a couple books and things like that so uh let me see yeah we're gonna do that and then at the very end i'm gonna be giving away a blue wedding I'm going to be giving away thanks to blue wedding unfortunately i do not have a waggle to give away uh Things have kind of been a little wonky with Waggle lately. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm sorry I don't have a Waggle. But I'm going to make it up to you by giving away a lot of cool stuff that I'm personally going to be giving away. Some merch and things like that. Um, somebody needs to... Janet, I did not ask for that. Can somebody please delete Janet's comment? And you are disqualified. Do not give out the um, secret code until I ask for it. And I said in my video that if you do so before that, you are disqualified. Hmm. I got to abide by rules when I do contests. It's the law. All right. It is the law. Hi, Cindy. Wow. Long time no see. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give away a calendar. A 2024 calendar, which I do not have in my hands yet, but I will soon. But uh, people love them. So who wants to win a 2024 calendar? Here's what you have to do. Answer the following question correctly. Who knows the make, not the model, the make of my first RV? Oh, thank you, everybody who ordered a calendar. Don't worry, I got lots of other prizes to give away. But who knows the make? You have 60 seconds to answer. Who knows the make of my, no, not of the RV, not the chassis, of the RV. What kind of RV was it? Like, this is an Itasca. So what, what, what kind of RV? No, the Ford is the chassis. That's the chassis. What kind of RV was it? I'm not asking for the chat. All right. So I'm going to give you guys about 60 seconds. I think. All right. I'm going to give you about 60 seconds. And then I will choose a winner. For people who are watching this in replay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know it could be hard to watch stuff like this in, in uh, replay. All right. 60 seconds. Anybody got a timer on? My current, I'm talking about the, my first RV. My first RV. Do, 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 do. Stop at the th 313 timestamp. Okay. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you to our moderators. My moderate, our moderators rock. Not only 
are they amazing on live chats, but I have a whole team of moderators who moderate and watch our comments on the videos on every single day. They're out there every single day in the comments on every video, getting rid, taking out the garbage, <laughs> keeping it a clean, fun, and safe place. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Richard and Ralph. And um, I know your real name, but now I'm up, uh, Edie. I can't remember what you go by. <laughs> Haven on Wheels. Uh, and pages out there and uh gosh every uh melissa is out there so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you mods you do an awesome job of keeping this community fun and safe for all of us and the winner is tina perez she was the first one to get it right so i'm going to give it to her tina perez are you here you win a calendar my first rv Matilda was a jamboree, a jamboree rally, R-A-L-L-E-Y. Yes, the mods do rock. You're in your festive jammies. I wish I had festive jammies. I have my, I'm all branded out. I'm all logoed out. Yay, Tina, you win. So when you win a prize, you need to email me at carolynsrvlife at gmail.com you need to let me know what your name is what your shipping address is and what you won and uh if you could do that within seven days i would highly appreciate it and uh i'll probably be able to get a calendar out to you tina this week so thank you for playing thank you everyone for playing all right all right i know everybody knows what my current rv is that wouldn't be any fun i know we've got 250 people watching I'm showing 145 thumb, 142 thumbs up. So if you're watching, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up just because it's fun. I deserve at least that. <laughs> just, you know, hit that thumbs up button below. All right. Let me see. Wow. And we're at 215 already. So in order to stay on track, I knew this was going to happen. I'm going to give away another gift already. This time... I'm going to give away a Be Kind t-shirt. So I'm going to give away a t-shirt from my merch store. Uh, actually, yeah, Be Kind. You know, like, be happy, be free, be kind. You can choose whatever design you want. And the, you, have, you have a minute to answer the following question. What year was Matilda? Not my current RV. What year was Matilda? I told you it was going to be Carolyn's RV Life Trivia. So I'm going to give you all, I'm going to give you all uh, a minute and then I'll choose somebody. Thank you, Ralph. Ralph is awesome. Ralph has been over the years, my tech support, besides my friend, <laughs> who, by the way, I got to tell you, you gave me a gift last year in the desert and uh, I still have some of it around and it just always makes me happy so thank you keep going people <laughs> ralph <laughs> all right so what year was matilda and i'm gonna choose somebody in a i'm sorry ralph did you say two six three sixteen all right i'm not seeing a lot of right answers Matilda 80. <laughs> uh, has it been a minute? Has it been a minute? So what are we giving away? I'm giving away a t-shirt, a Be Kind t-shirt. All right. I think it's been a minute. Not quite. Okay, thanks, Ralph. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Ralph. All right. And the winner is... Matilda was a 1993 Jamboree rally. And the first name I see that got it right is Sarah. Sarah, no. Sarah, no. You are the winner. You get a shirt. Don't you have? You have a lot of merch. <laughs> but now you have more. Because <laughs> you are the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Sarah won. All right. So what do you want to do for the next uh, 13 minutes? Thank you all for playing. That was, do you like this? Are you having fun? 
Yay, Sarah. So just shop the store. Let me know what you want. And I will uh, get it right to you ASAP. All right. You want to read it? Want me to read a story? You want to play Scrabble? That would be fun. Thank you, Sarah. This is great. Yeah, you're having fun. Oh, that's what the thumbs up is for. Y'all are having fun. Tell us about your travels. Well, isn't that what my videos are for? <laughs> I'm taking a break from the, all that today. But uh, I, I'll... I'll... Uh, Paula was, was bored. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Loved your Alaska trip. So did I. I was actually thinking recently, maybe I should go do it again with Sadie. But then I was thinking, hmm, you know, last time I did, I did Alaska with a dog. The dog didn't make it back. Like, yeah. So I don't know. Now I'm, I'm feeling a little superstitious. How long did it take me to hike the trail? So I only did 576 miles of the PCT and I was on the trail 56 days. So 56 days, 576 miles. I did the John Muir trail before I hit the road. That was interestingly enough, 256 miles in 26 days. So the JMT was 256 miles in 26 days. The PCT was 576 miles in 56 days. Yeah. 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 I would love to do something like that again. 500. Yeah, I did 576 miles. I hiked the entire state of Oregon on the Pacific Crest Trail and then some. I started at the first resupply point uh, uh, the, or the last resupply. I started in California, right below the Oregon border, and I, I finished in, oh, I don't remember the name of it now, Washington. I finished in Washington. Gosh, I don't remember the name of it now. Some little itty bitty place in Washington. So yeah, I did 576 miles. Um, oh, do you did you tell us about the worst thing about quartzite? I don't I don't think so. What is the worst thing about quartzite? The crowds. Oh, wow. The Kitty Cat Network. Last year, I was within 10 miles of you. And this year, I visited where you grew up. That's an interesting coincidence. I cover a lot of ground in my little life. <laughs> I do. Especially going back and forth across country every year. Uh, yeah, I did 500. And that was just, you know, uh, what? It was before I got Sadie. And Sadie's been with me almost four years. Wow, gosh. That was almost five years ago already? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 576 miles. I hiked the entire state of Oregon. Look at it on a map. It's kind of crazy. You know, I don't look like your typical, you know, through hiker. <laughs> you know, I'm a little fluffy. <laughs> uh, but I did it. And I think I average about 10 miles a day, which through hikers uh, do a lot more than that. But yeah, I did have a uh, I had a couple creepy encounters on the PCT. Well, I had that weird guy who showed up in the middle of the night and thought that I was going to protect him and he was going to camp right on top of me. <laughs> there was that. And then I had a, a creepy guy after that who literally, I think, took a crap in the woods, like right behind my tent. I don't know if I ever really fully talked about that. I think I did. Yeah, that guy was weird. He walked right by my door. He didn't have to. I was off the trail. He walked right by my door. First thing in the morning, I was just getting ready, packing up maybe just making my coffee. And then I found a big old pile of poop right in the woods after he left that I didn't think was there the night before, but. Oh, you guys have a lot of questions. Okay. I'll answer questions then. I'll read, I'll read stories. I have stories. <laughs> Sadie hasn't aged a day. She's calming down. She, I mean, ask my friends. She lays down now. I mean, eventually not a lot, but she's calming down quite a bit. So. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't like weird and creepy. No. Furry hugs. How many states have you traveled since you've been doing RVing? Almost all of them. I haven't done Rhode Island. I think I've done the rest, except I haven't done Hawaii. So I've done, I've done all of them, I think, but Rhode Island. No, wait. I've been to every state. 
at least I thought I had been to every state. I keep doing this, but I asked my mom. I thought we went to Rhode Island when I was a kid. I remember camping somewhere that I thought was Rhode Island. So apparently I have not been to Rhode Island. I thought I had been to all 50 states. So I think Rhode Island is the only state I haven't RV'd in. Oh, I'm sure I'll be going through uh, Amish country in Ohio again. Trout Lake. Yes. Good memory. Yes. It was Trout Lake, Washington. Good memory spoken. That's where I finished. Good memory. Wow. Or did you look it up? <laughs> no, we're talking about Trout Lake, Washington. That's where I finished my hike. That's where I got off the trail. I had planned on going all the way to the Canadian border, but I was bored. Carol and another moderator, my wonderful friend, Carol, who I miss. And I hope I get to see you soon. Thank you for being here. It's wonderful to see you. I know how Sadie watches out the window. <laughs> Michael Zorro. There are a lot of people who don't like me. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you know, it's really interesting, though. I find that people who meet me, I have even had people come up to me and apologize to me uh at the rtr a few years ago uh well okay one <laughs> one guy when i first started um had kind of bought into all the hype about me and was part of the online this was like my first year of rv life uh on online and uh he had kind of taken part in a lot of the trolling and everything and i met him at the rtr and he came up later and apologized he said meeting you face to face i now see that everything they said was wrong and i'm really sorry for my part in it that was really nice that was really nice oh am i coming to florida sorry no mm -mm. i went to florida a few years ago <laughs> uh no but thank you michael that is very nice of you there was another question oh you just ordered a calendar donna thank you thank you we have a few left um, Tracy, you stayed in our town and didn't stay high. I know I do that a lot. <laughs> we were, we were, my friends and I, we got five minutes for another giveaway. My friends and I were talking this morning and, uh, we were talking about how difficult it is sometimes to see people in our travels. And there's a couple of people, Brian, I don't think he's here, but the, the one who wrote the cookbook, uh, we've met, zo we've Zoomed together and stuff like that. And I feel like I know him and uh, he invited me to stop by and say hi. And I was literally like just past his town before I realized I was near him. And uh, but th even then, if like you're an hour away from somebody, people don't realize that that's like a day of travel for us. <laughs> It's, or if you're two hours away, that's three days of travel. If you if you have to go out of your way, it's a, it's a whole deal. It's not just like hopping in your car and going. It's a big deal. All right. Any other questions? How many miles have I driven this year? Not a lot, because I sat I sat at my mom's most of the summer, so uh, I drove a lot less, fewer, many fewer miles this year than I than I probably normally do. I don't know. Because I travel across country, so that may not be true. I don't know how many I drove this year. 10, 15,000? I'm not sure. I don't pay attention. I'll ask my accountant. He knows. Because I, I have to give him the beginning and the end because he has to do it for my taxes. So I, I don't, I'll, I'll ask my accountant for you. All right. All right. So any other questions? I think I'm, my home, I love my little home on wheels. I do. If, as long as I just pre pretend it's not held together with a turn on tape and glue. <laughs> My mom is doing pretty well. She misses me. Conta quilt. You, I love the Conta quilts. Oh my gosh. I love these. They are awesome. And I really, I don't know what I'm going to do in the summer, maybe as a bedspread. But right now I use them on my windows. Well, I'll probably use them in the summer too because these curtains are sheer. So I put them up for privacy. But right now I put them up for insulation. Third, did I tell you 28 degrees here last night? Um, how have you had any luck with your land search? I'm not really looking right now. I'm kind of happy to be back on the road. 
So the JMT is 211 miles. You must have added a few miles. I started at Cottonwood Pass. So yes, I went I went Nobo. I went north to south. And I went from uh, Cottonwood Pass into Tuolumne Meadows. So if you want to calculate that, yes, I did do some extra miles. So I went Nobo because it was easier to get a permit. And I'm really glad that I did uh, because I was able to do Mount Whitney like on my fourth day without a pack. I was, because most people exit Mount Whitney and I started like 40 miles south of Mount Whitney to give myself time to acclimate. And I was able to base camp and climb Mount Whitney with just a day pack. So yes, I've been to the top of the tallest mountain in the lower 48. Mm -hmm. I have, I know. I kind of can't believe some of the crap I've done sometimes. Hi, Rose. Good to see you. Hi, Betty. Nice to see you. Hi, JC. What campground did I stay at to become a Nevada resident? It's in the video. I don't remember. It's on Linda. I think it's on Linda Street. I don't remember. Juanita bought some of the quilts, even gave some away for Christmas gifts. That's a really good idea. They're beautiful. They're soft. I love the material, the stitching. I heard they're hand stitched, at least when I bought them. Slack pack Mount Whitney. Yeah, definitely. Yes. I can't. I mean, I, I, as I, it was so hard. Oh my God. Climbing Mount Whitney was like the hardest thing I've ever done. It was so hard. <laughs> and I saw people at the end. I'm glad I did it at the beginning while I was still somewhat fresh. Man, I saw the people who had gone southbound, who, you know, that was their last day and they had a, a full pack. Although you can leave your pack. You don't have to take it all the way up to Mount Whitney, but you have to take it far enough. But yeah. Yeah. I got them on Amazon. I It looks like I might be going to Quartzsite. So I'll let you know. There's a couple things I want to do there. My friends want to do a couple things there. All right. It's 2.30. And I promised everybody who participated in Shop Small Win Big that I would announce the winners within the first half hour. Just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. All right, so I'm going to announce the winners of all of the Shop Small Win Big prizes now. These are the prizes that small businesses have given in uh, exchange for me talking about the businesses on my channel. And hopefully some of you supported them and uh, shopped them for the holidays. Uh, all right, so the winners of... The Shop Small Win Big. First of all, hashtag Togo, which was the book. The winner is Vandad4761. Vandad4761, you're the winner of hashtag Togo. The winner of Thunderpaws, which is hashtag Thunderpaws. The winner is Sky02148. Sky02148. 148. You are the winner of Thunderpaws. And the winner of Brian's Cookbook, hashtag Brian's Cooking, is Dolphin Dreamland. All right. So you all are winners. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching and playing. And thank you all for supporting the small businesses uh, who participate in this. And all the winners, you have seven days to email me at carolynsrvlife at gmail.com. Let me know what you won. Send me your full name, your address, and your phone number. And uh, we'll get... And, we, and I'll forward them to the, the small businesses and we'll get your presents out to you. So congratulations. Are any of the winners here? Pam Flowers. Oh, you're welcome. I didn't realize you were here. You are very welcome. Pam, did you sell any books? I hope you sold some books. There was a lot of interest. I know a lot of people said they, uh, they uh, were very interested in your books. So I hope you sold a couple. All right. So now I'm going to let you guys decide. Do you want to hear? You did sell books. Yay! I love it. Yay, yay, yay. 
All right. And thank you, audience. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the small businesses. That just makes my heart sing. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Yay. <laughs> I love that I can just help in, in any small way that I can. Uh, it just really makes me happy that I can help people. So thank you for participating, Pam, and uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys want stories or do you want, to, want me to answer more questions? Let me do a story. It's a tough time in the world. And uh, it's been a tough time in the world for a while. And I know a lot of us are feeling very overwhelmed by the news by war, just by all kinds of things. I'm going to keep today positive and uplifting, so I'm not going to get into detail. I don't need to get into detail. I think you're all well aware of a lot of the tough things that are going on in the world right now. So uh, a couple years ago, we started this tradition. I Every year for, what, two or three years now, I have been doing a Christmas party for certain patron levels. It's called the Insiders Club. Uh, we do a Christmas party every year by Zoom. We get together, we have fun, we tell stories, we give away prizes, and it's just a really fun time because we, we, we become friends. A lot of us have become friends. And what we started doing a few years ago is sharing uplifting, happy stories so that we can, at least for a minute, just feel some sense of normalcy. And uh, I think I might have shared a story last year. So I have a couple stories. I asked patrons. Uh, I did another contest for patrons. I said, hey, you know, if you guys can give me a story, I'll give you a prize. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Because I put it out yesterday on Christmas Eve because that's how I that's how I roll. <laughs> I don't play it. I, I'm last minute. Everything is always last minute. All right. So that's what I did. So these these both these stories are from long uh, patrons. And uh, the first one, she she asked, it's a personal story about her family, which I think is beautiful. And she asked that, uh, she asked to remain anonymous. Actually, let me see if she responded to me because I had a question for her about this story. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. That's excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. The story is, where is it? And I keep losing chat. Okay, I'm just, oh, there's chat. All right, so the story, y'all ready for a story? A happy, uplifting story? In November, 2022, a turkey named Mitch E. Gander was honored to be chosen as the first turkey pardoned for Thanksgiving by the Michigan governor. I just happened to catch the cute story on television when I noticed one of my friends, Bob, was holding the turkey. I hadn't seen Bob for a few years due to COVID and remembered that he and his wife had been working to start a rescue for farm animals. It turned out that Mitch had a great time visiting the governor's mansion and then found a loving home at Bob's farm sanctuary. I love the turkey at a governor's mansion. For the past four years, my family has decided that instead of, shoot, uh, for the last four years, my family has decided that instead of giving each other Christmas presents, we would donate to a good cause. And it, and it was a unanimous decision to help the farm sanctuary. So we drove out to visit Bob and his animals. We met Mitch the sweet celebrity turkey who happily followed us as we toured the grounds. Among the many animals that we met were horses, pigs, donkeys, sheep, goats, chickens, and ducks. They all had sad stories to tell, but thankfully had found their forever home. Many of them are senior animals whose owners could no longer care for them. Grateful tears were shed when we presented our Christmas donation. We were thankful to learn that it was a much need that it was much needed and would and would go to feeding and providing shelter for our many happy furry and feathered new friends. Today the farm sanctuary continues to grow and provides a loving, safe home to Mitch and his many animal pals. I love that story. Thank you for sharing it. That was really sweet. And what a wonderful tradition. I love that. So thank you very much, uh, Anonymous Patron, for sharing that. I appreciate it. And uh, if anybody is interested in uh, donating, 
I asked her after the fact, I was like, do you think they would be willing to take donations? Because I had a feeling that some of you might be interested in donation donating after hearing that story. So we're waiting to get, uh, we're waiting on that. And if I get it, it'll be posted in comments or I can post it later. Isn't that a sweet story? Van, go Betsy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. And Carol, my friend, thank you for the super chat. It really is sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it, Carol. All right. All right. The brand of the quilt again. Uh, can somebody put it in comments? Somebody else mentioned it. I can't, it's, I, I don't remember. It's on my, go to, go to, uh, go to my store. It's on my store, amazon.com slash shop slash Carolyn's RV life, or in any video description, there is a link to my Amazon store and everything I buy on Amazon is in that. So, uh, you can not only shop Amazon, but you can, uh, support. Because whenever you shop through my link, I earn a little commission and it doesn't cost you anything. Kantha Quilts. Thank you. It's called Kantha Quilts. Thank you. Thank you. Kantha. Okay. Kantha. Thank you all for answering that question. So let me ask you, uh, do you guys have any traditions? What what traditions do you have for, for Christmas? Why don't you leave them in comments? I'll read some of them out. What are some of your happy Christmas traditions or holiday Hi, Raven BC. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> watching me is a tradition. I guess it's become a tradition for a lot of us, hasn't it? What is this? Five or six years. Oh, you have some Kanta closing pieces. Nice. Very nice. I always feel like I'm yelling. Too much. Yeah, I can relate to that. That's kind of a year round tradition for me. <laughs> I love. I'm so sorry, Jesse, that you lost your parents. Both of your parents. I'm so sorry for your loss. Nella has a Christmas party on Christmas, a uh, pajama party. That sounds like fun. Van Gogh Betsy pet sits. And then works at a shelter. Well, that's nice. Aw, thanks, Carol. Spirit Junkie, touring the lights in the neighborhood. I like that. I love the Christmas lights. That's a really nice thing to do. Uh, Maggie, Christmas Eve at your parents, then Christmas Day in jammies, doing all your favorite things, reading, gaming, watching lives. Oh, that sounds really nice. Sally listens to Charlie Brown Christmas uh, on the way to family. That sounds like fun. Driving and looking at Christmas lights, Wendy says. Hi, Susan. Hi, Nancy. You're welcome. <laughs> Nancy says my live chats are uh, her tradition. Well, that's really, I'm, I'm glad I can do this. I, you know, I hear that this is the highlight for many of you of your day. And uh, that's why I keep doing it. And uh, I'm really glad that I can. And it, it, I like it too. I The uh, introvert in me dreads it <laughs> all the way up until the moment I go live. <laughs> The introvert in me is like, why do you keep doing this? Why are you doing this? Why don't you just stop doing it? You know, and then I get on and I'm having a ball. So, oh, that introversion, man. <laughs> it's amazing introverts get anything done <laughs> or ever go out or ever do anything. All right. Let me see. Where are you? Oh, Carol, it's been a tradition for you as well. How's your little grandbabies? Give them kisses and hugs for me. Build a slide that finishes in a snow fort. Well, that sounds like fun. Lone wolf empaths cherish our alone time. We do. And we make plans and we love them, but we dread them all the way up until the moment it happens. Yeah. What did Pam Flowers? My book Togo has risen in Amazon ranking over 25,000 in the last few minutes. What? What? <laughs> Your Togo has risen in Amazon over 25,000. Wow. Are you all going there shopping? <laughs> wow. That's great news, Pam. Wow. Yay. 
I love it when people, good things happen to good people. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> that is great. Congratulations. It's because you, your book is amazing. It sounds amazing. I haven't read it yet. I will, but it sounds amazing. But congratulations. That's great. Um, Dreaming Music Gal says, this was one live I chose to watch and I'm glad I did and it will become yearly. Well, welcome and thank you. I'm glad to hear that. My mom used to make pecan, pecan rolls from scratch every Christmas morning and then open gifts. Oh, you know what my mom used to make that I still dream about? Kolochkis. I don't know. They were a family tradition, like real kolachkis, where you put cream cheese in the dough and they're filled with like pecans and nuts. Anybody know what those are? Anybody? Anybody? Oh my God. They were always my favorite. She used to make big old giant popcorn balls too, but the kolachkis were my, we call them kolachkis. I think they call it butter tarts. Is that what you guys call them? We call them kolachkis. <laughs> Yes, Jesse Raven. Oh my God, they're so good. I've never had one like a good, I don't, I, you know, see them. I don't know what they are, where they come from. Yeah, they have different names. Kalachis, Kalach, yeah. Dreaming music gal, her mother-in-law used to make them and they are amazing. Yes, you grew up eating them too. Oh my God, so good. With the cream cheese in the dough. Oh man. Bake, you're making homemade donuts. I made scones, homemade vegan gluten-free scones this morning. And according to my friend, they're pretty good. <laughs> Aw, Shay, hey, it's good to see you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. What's the one for? Cassady's number one. <laughs> thank you, Shay. The handmade ones are probably better than the ones I had in Bucky's. Oh, did you have Kolachkis at Bucky's? Oh. Homemade coconut cream pie. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. It's a quarter. Oh, thank you, Ralph. <laughs> thank you, Ralph. All right, 345. It's time to give away another gift. Thank you, Ralph. Oh, wait, wait, it's not Blue Eddy time yet. Blue Eddy time is, is 3.45. So another hour before Blue Eddy time. All right, oh, oh, this one's fun. Uh, so this time you're gonna win a souvenir pack. Somebody asked where I've been. So I'm gonna, or, or to talk about my travels. So I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of a, a hint here. Terlingua. Does anybody know where Terlingua is? So somebody sent me a package. I got notification that it's sitting in my mailbox, but I have to, um, I haven't gotten it yet. It'll sit at my mailbox until I pay to get it forwarded. And I don't know when that'll be, but thank you for sending me the gift. All right. Terlingua, a ghost town in Texas. Mm -hmm. That video is coming soon. So I have a souvenir box I'm going to be giving away. It's going to have this in it. It's going to have some down south hot sauce. It's going to have some delicious southern chocolate covered pecans and a candle from Colorado. So you're going to, oh, and a sticker. I'll include a sticker. So this is what you're going to be winning. You're going to be winning a Carolyn's RV Life souvenir pack. Just a couple fun things I picked up in my travels. I thought that would be fun. And the winner will have, so I'll, I'll take comments for 30 seconds this time. 30 seconds. <laughs> Ralph, I'm going to make your job a little harder. <laughs> you don't have to, you know. What is Sadie's majority breed? You have 30 seconds and I'm going to choose a winner of uh, what is Sadie's majority breed. And you're going to win a souvenir pack from moi and my travels. 30 seconds. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Ralph. 
I'm going to have to buy you dinner or something. Or a nice six pack. I'll buy you a nice six pack. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you get saltwater taffy. You get all kinds of treats. Do you, who likes hot sauce? Everybody likes hot sauce. <laughs> Except my mother. <laughs> all right. And the winner is, let me see, Lazy T. Lazy T, you are the winner. It'll look better than this when I send it, I promise. <laughs> Lazy T, you are the winner. Sadie's Majority Breed. She is 50 one somebody said 51 it might be 50 51 or 52 i think it's 52 percent border collie sadie is 52 percent border collie lazy t you are the winner congratulations email me at carolyn's rv life <laughs> the best wrapping job i know right <laughs> um all right thank you all so much for playing this is fun i I love playing Ms. Santa. I'm Ms. Santa and 100% cute. Yes, she is. You want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Why don't you come say hi? Won't she? No, you're just, she's been tired. She's been running around with Juno, her, her, her friend. <laughs> I'm camped with friends. Hi, friends. And she's been running and playing. That is why she's so smart. So she was 52% Border Collie like six percent uh australian shepherd so her top 58 percent are extremely intelligent and then it was like 10 percent boxer 10 percent mastiff six percent pit bull <laughs> which uh the bull mastiff the boxer and the pit bull uh her guard dog she's she's i mean the other night when we first got to this camp she didn't sleep she's on guard all night long and i like worry about her i'm like sadie you need to sleep I know she's smart and athletic and she's, she's just amazing. Thank you all for playing. Don't worry. I have more, more prizes to give away. Um, makes her loyal, sweet and sp yeah, smart. Yep. It's just started snowing. Nice. Oh, solo female van life. Oh, that's very nice. Hard to leave friends to do a live stream. Oh, well, this is part of my day. What did Santa give Sadie in her stocking? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't fill it up all the way, but she's got a bunch of stuff in the cupboard. I bought her. What is... Oh, see, this will get her up. This will this will get her up. She loves these. I can't remember what they're called. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi, friendlies? Can you speak? No. <laughs> I didn't say shake. Come here. Speak. She doesn't want to. You don't want to? Can I get a high five? Thank you. Can I get your right hand? Thank you. Can I get your left hand? Thank you. I think, yeah. Can I get your right hand? Your right hand. <gasps> thank you. Can I get to get a high five? Well, thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that girl. That girl, here. Can I have it for a second? They want. They want to see it. It's this. I, they're. They're not Nyla bones. I can't remember what they are, but she's very, very, very picky. But she likes these. Well, she's gonna go bury it in the bed right now, and then later when I go to bed to lay down, she's gonna stand over me and whine, and I'm not gonna know why she's whining, and she's gonna just sit there and whine and whine and whine. And I'm gonna be like, "What do you want?" And then I'll realize the um, bone is under my pillow, <laughs> and I'll have to dig it out and give it to her. This is our routine. <laughs> this is our routine. All right. All right. Um, let me see. I know her face, right? I mean, this dog, this dog is my everything. She is my everything. Okay. Let me see. What time is it? 2.52. We have eight minutes until our next giveaway. Would you like another story or would you like to answer some questions? Or would you like me to answer some questions? Story or questions?
Story time. You want another story? I like this. Shay Joson. Why does your name sound so familiar other than seeing you in comments a lot? Questions, story, story, story. All right, I have one more story. So we'll do the story because, uh, well, we might have two more stories. Y'all want another story? Okay. This one is from our lovely Nancy, one of my longest term patrons. And even though I haven't met her yet, I feel like I have met her. I feel like she's just, everybody knows her. She's wonderful, part of the community, kind, giving, uh, she's just amazing and uh, been a patron a long time. And yeah, just really appreciate Nancy. So she sent two stories. We're going to read uh, one that I had never heard before today. Uh, it is a Tara Branch story that she gave during one of her many contemplative gatherings several years ago. It begins as an inquiry and then, inc then concludes with a touch of humor. All right, so John O'Donohue, an Irish poet and teacher, said it beautifully. So what happened to our wildness, to really trusting our aliveness? We go into trance when we leave home, and then the question is, how does that happen? On an existential level, you could say that anything that comes into creation, all that incarnates, has a perception of separation. There is a sense of membrane, and in here is me, and out there is the world. Okay, let me read that again. There is a sense of membrane, and in here is me, in here is me, and out there is the world. And we have to self-organize to protect and to get, and so on. The primal, the primal mood of the separate self is fear. Who can relate to that? I can tell you, boy read my comments for a week and you'll see how true that is. The primal mood of the separate self is fear. And as long as there's a sense of me or self, there's going to be some tension about, will I get what I need? And that gets exacerbated in our families and in our culture. Our culture in particular is one that is competitive with all sorts of standards that are set on how to be. And there's very quickly a sense of falling short, not being enough, and that we always have to prove ourselves. Ringing true to anyone? Ringing true? However, if we can start the day being cheerful, ignoring aches and pains, if you can resist complaining and boring people with our troubles, you. Actually, you know, I'm going to read this. Well, okay. If you can understand when loved ones are too busy to give you their time. If you can overlook when people take things out on you when through no fault of your own, something goes wrong. If you can take criticism and blame without resentment. <laughs> That's a tough one for me. If you can face the world without lies and deceit, if you can conquer tension without medical help, if you can relax without liquor, if you can sleep without the aid of drugs, then you're probably a dog. <laughs> that was deep. Wow. Well done, Nancy. Then you're probably a dog. We all need to be more like dogs, don't we? So again, that was Tara Branch. Uh Tara Branch. That was beautiful. We all need to be more like dogs. We all need to aspire to be like dogs. All right. Dreaming Music Gal, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you for keeping it 100 on your videos and educating us. You are very welcome. Thank you for appreciating my voice. Thank you for that. Trisha. My pit bull wears PJs. Oh, member for 13 months. Well, thank you. Thank you for being a member. Wishing you and Sadie a very happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Amen. Nice story, huh? Yeah. Dogs make life good. Dogs are like the purest form of love, right? 
I mean, she makes me feel bad <laughs> about my humanness, about, you know, losing my patience with her. She's just sweet and innocent and just doing her doggy thing, you know? I mean, there's nothing more pure and more real than a dog. If only more humans could be that pure and that real. I'm not that advanced. <laughs> Touche. Most of us aren't. <laughs> 100% unconditional love. Yep. Hi, Shauna. Merry Christmas to you in Oregon. All right. Radical acceptance is not what I thought it would be and, I, and was profound. Oh, Tara's book about radical. I don't know who she is. I'll have to look her up because I like that. Radical acceptance is not what I thought it would be. And it was profound. I need, I need that. You know, I struggle, especially my job. I don't think I struggled with it before I started being a YouTuber, <laughs> but it, it's really hard to understand when someone leaves a comment, like even, even unsolicited advice. I was just talking to my friend about it this morning. It's really hard when you are bombarded with it 24 seven to recognize and this is all just a part of having more empathy and putting yourself in other people's shoes and stepping out of your yourself, but just understanding people just want to help. They just want to be a part of what I do here. And so they offer advice I didn't ask for. And it, it they don't do it to be mean, but because I, I am who I am, it, I, it, you know, it can be really hard. And so, yeah, radical acceptance, just accept that they are who they are doing what they're doing. And it, it doesn't really have anything to do with me and I don't need to react you know, yeah. Carol, when I was younger, that was true. Not so much now. T she's a Buddhist teacher. Oh, and she has a YouTube channel. Okay, good to know. Instead of looking at unsolicited advice, look at it as just a conversation. That's easier said than done. That's, you just gave me unsolicited advice, <laughs> by the way. Love you dearly. You're a regular commenter, but just wanted to point out that you just gave me unsolicited advice. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? I can't escape it. Um. <laughs> Spoken TC. <laughs> uh. Or a different point of view. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get, yeah. Okay. That might work. That's, that's actually, that's it. That might work but it's innocent. I get, I know. And see, spoken TC, because I know you, I feel like I know you because I've seen you. And that's the thing. It Usually if it comes from someone I have seen before and I've built some kind of rapport with through comments, I, it's a little easier to handle. Um, but I feel like a lot of times people come and they watch one single video and feel like they know everything about me and want to change everything about me. So it, being in the public eye, I'm telling you, yeah, mm -hmm. it's not for wusses. <laughs> All right. A different, a different point of view. Yeah, that's, that, I like that. A different point of view. It's just a different point of view. Eh, yeah. And did not take it so personally. That's pretty good. All right. It's three o'clock. Let me see. Where are we? What are we going to do now? Actually? Yes. Yeah, three o'clock. All right. We have another giveaway. Oh, I'm going to give away one of these. What? Who wants a who wants a be happy, be free, be kind baseball hat? Anybody want a baseball hat? All you have to do in the next 30 seconds is answer the following question correctly. What is my most popular video with 3.2 million views? helicopter friends. <laughs> my friends aren't helicopter. It's the people I've never met. All right. What is my most popular video with 3.2 million views in the next 30 seconds? And you could win one of these hats. My most popular YouTube channel. I mean, I'm sorry, my most popular YouTube video. You guys are naming my book. Boo-boo, Sarah. Since you have a lot of shirts, text me if, if you want this instead. Do, 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 do. 
3.2 million views. My most popular, actually, and to this day, still the only the only video that has over a million views. I have a couple that are close. Um, time is up. Okay, let me see. The winner is, huh? I can't see any correct answers. Wow, what happened? Do I'm not seeing any correct answers. Actually, Richard Thomas, yours is the first one I saw. How to stay warm in your RV. Richard Thomas, you are the first and you're a moderator. So you get a hat. Boo, 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 boo. And I think I have your address because I sent you a calendar. I think I still have it. All right. Richard Thomas is the winner. Thank you so much for playing. In uh, the, yeah, it was how to stay warm in winter. My, my blank, I call it, I lovingly call it the blanket video because that was my first viral video I had. It was like my fourth video and literally uh, several places I went to, people were like, you're the blanket lady. You're the blanket lady. <coughs> yeah. So I was like, great. I start my YouTube career by being known as the blanket lady. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just go ahead and send me an email, Richard, to remind me. And if you could include your email, at your, your shipping address again, that would be so helpful. So I don't have to look it up. So thank you all so, so much for playing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. That stupid blanket video is still by far the most popular video I have ever made. So weird. Thank you, Texas lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jody says that's the first video of yours that I watched after that I was hooked I I can't even I should look I, I probably I, I'm gonna look I probably got 60,000 subscribers from that video yeah that video alone made my chant well I no, you know what I was getting I was getting 30 40 50 60,000 100,000 views even I think before that I was I'm I'm an OG <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the original women uh, who started doing YouTube videos um, and living on the road by choice. So, uh, and like I, I've said this before, if I were to make videos now, I don't think I would be as, I, I, I pretty much guarantee I would not be as successful as I was. But um, I had a uh, early, uh, early, I, I was, I, my timing was right. So, yeah. Patricia, I'm sorry you don't know any answers. Do you watch my videos? <laughs> it, it helps. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. All right. You have any questions for me? You have any questions? Anything you want to talk about? <laughs> That's cute, Rose. Uh, Rose's granddaughter got her a hat that says Bigfoot is real and tried to take a bite out of my ass. That's very cute. I started my channel in... November 2016. Actually, I, I set it up uh, July 2016, but I didn't post. I posted my first video like two weeks after the election, November uh, 2016. Yeah. I, uh, I know. You know what? I get it, Juanita. I'm terrible at trivia too. I get it. And recall is slow. I get it. Yeah. Do I? Ha I don't have any good jokes. Do you guys have any good jokes? If I had to go back into business, what would I do? Well, I'm, I am in business <laughs> for one. This is a business very much. So just ask the IRS and my accountant. <laughs> it's very much a business, but if I had to do something besides YouTube, uh, I, that's a question I've been asking myself for several years. <laughs> if I knew the answer, I probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> that's some honesty for you. Um, you know, I've thought about a lot of things. I've thought about doing YouTube coaching and consulting. You know, I have a, I have a successful channel. I, my, my uh, background is in small business, marketing, advertising, coaching, consulting. So I could definitely do that. I thought about maybe doing some personal life coaching. Um, that, I, that thought crossed my mind. I thought about 
making my life easy and just going to work for somebody else. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I've been a business owner for what, 12, 13 years now. I've been uh, uh, working for myself. It's a lot of work. I was like, how nice would it be to just put in some a, a few hours, you know, maybe work 30 hours a, a week for somebody else so that I can work 30 hours and turn it off? I mean, I can't even imagine. But then I realized I'd probably end up working for some idiot. <laughs> And it, no, I mean, I, it would be hard at this point. And I thought about even just like answering phones or doing customer service. But frankly, I've been working by myself. Uh, uh, I Yeah, I couldn't do customer service at this point in my life. Um, solo female van life thinks I would be a great life coach. You'd be a great life coach. It's funny, my assistant several years ago when I hired her said, you know, I see a lot of people asking you for advice. Have you ever thought about being a life coach? I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. And then uh, this year I started looking into it and, uh, and maybe, maybe I'm looking into it. Maybe. Being a business over is 24 seven. You, you, you do not shut it off. I'm literally Actually, you're going to, uh, no, it's going to be, a, I think it's going to be a free video on Patreon. So reminder that you can now join Patreon for free. So go to patreon.com, Carolyn's RV Life, and I'm sharing outtakes kind of like, is it, is that director's cuts? Like things that, are, that don't fit into regular videos. I'm now putting on Patreon sometimes for free. Uh, and there's a, there's an excerpt. Uh, there's a video that's coming pretty soon that shows even when I'm driving, I'm working and I'm constantly thinking and coming up with ideas. And um, and I share that in a video coming up. But I don't think customer service is an actual job anymore. Then it would be perfect for me because I, I just would not have the patience. I know. But that's I like that. I think you're right. Customer service is bad. And I would just add to the badness because I, I, I've just gotten to the point. It's this stage of my life and working by myself. I don't, it's, I can't bite my tongue so much anymore. Yeah. Punching a clock at someone else's convenience gets old quick. I honestly don't think I could go back for a minute. I had like a minute. Oh, thank you, Richard. I had a minute where it just really seemed like like my fantasy life. Like I just want to work for somebody else. I just don't want to think anymore, you know, except when I'm on the clock and just let somebody else make all the decisions and not have to worry about bookkeeping and accounting and taxes and marketing and all the other crap that I have to deal with. And, uh, but it, that didn't, uh, that didn't last very long. <laughs> I, I, I came to my senses. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. was thinking about starting a consulting company, Sarah, you should, you should you should. And if you want to talk about that, I'd be happy to help. We're going to have lots of time to talk. We're going to Baja, baby. All right. Well, thank you all for saying I'd be a good life coach. I actually think it would be really nice. I think I love helping people. I have a, I love to teach. That's the thing is like, I have a teacher in me. I love to teach. And you guys see that in my videos. And I think that if I look at life coaching as kind of coaching, to people teaching them to help them accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. If I look at it that way, I think I would really, I think it would be very rewarding because I like helping people. I've helped people my whole life. My whole career has been about helping people, helping small business owners, you know, really, really small business owners. So yeah, I think it could be fun. Anyway, you saw that <laughs> Sadie's running back and forth trying to find a place to, did you see that? Trying to find a place to bury her bone. Now she's sleeping on the bed. Hi. I do enjoy RVing. And I feel like every year there's a different, it's different, you know, and, and every year I'm trying to, I don't know, make it work. Yeah. Work-life balance and all that. But yeah. And trying something new. Yeah, working for some idiot is no fun. How many of you can relate to this, though? How many of you, even before I worked for myself, you, you, your boss, I've reported to some idiots who are just so dumb. I'm like, how did you get your job? We can all relate to that, right? 
you, I, I can't tell you how many bosses I've had that I'm like, how did you, how, how come you're the vice president and I'm not? Because <laughs> you're not a how. I can tell you how. They were all men. <laughs> they were all men. Yeah. Anyway. All right. People quit bad bosses, not bad jobs. You know, you're right. Some of the, I, I actually worked for two women. Uh, yeah, actually two women. And they were wonderful for the most part. One of them kind of changed over time, but supportive and very different, very different. Uh, in just wanting to be invested in my growth as, as a, in my career. It, so it was a very different thing, but yeah, so you're right. You quit. And, and, and the people working for somebody who's good makes you want to give more. And I don't know why more people don't understand that when you treat your employees good and make them feel valued and make them feel heard, they're going to give you a lot more than somebody who's resentful. So wait, I saw a question. If you had to get another rig today, would it still be a class C? Yes. Actually, I want my exact rig. <laughs> When this one disintegrates on, on a dirt road somewhere, like it inevitably will. <laughs> it's my biggest fear. I want this exact RV. I love this RV. Just got brand new tires. Richard, <laughs> you're going to love that story. I just had to put brand new tires on it again. But that's okay. It needed them. All right. Women nurture as bosses. Generally, yes. Generally, yes. Yes. You had two horrid women bosses, but men, unfortunately, many horrid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, women, it depends. Uh, yeah, we've, I just had this conversation on Facebook. People got really offended. So some women can be really, really bad, really hard to work for. I totally agree. Uh, I, just my experience has been mostly the, the male bosses and not like just horrible, just kind of clueless. Uh, and the women have been more nurturing and really wanting to help me advance in my career and stuff. So, yeah, I had one boss, literally, I think about it now. I would sit in his office and he would talk about, he was, he, at the time it was inappropriate. It was sexual gross. It was disgusting. Oh my God. Cases days were younger than me. That was, that sucked. <laughs> but all right. All right. Oh, all right. I'm going to do another prize. This one is a shirt. This one, I'm going to give you guys a, one of these t-shirts. We're going to give you a Carolyn's RV Life logo t-shirt for the next 30 seconds. The correct answer. I will choose the correct answer. How many watts of solar do I have on my roof? How many watts of solar do I have on my roof? Oh my gosh, women truck drivers. Yes. Ralph, how many watts of solar do I have on my roof in the next 30 seconds? Boo, 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 boo. I'm seeing a lot of right answers. 20. Eight hundred and twenty. Holy shit. <laughs> Zero. All right. And so the, I have two hundred sixty watts. 260 watts. That's what I live with. Well, in my, my flexible 260 watts of solar on my roof. And the first person I see with the correct answer is Judy Wilson. Judy Wilson, you are the winner with 200. Yes, that's all. That's all. And I carry either, depending on what I've got, either a hundred or 200 watt plug and play. Cause I got the 300 um, but I can put up to, up to 300, maybe more plug and play on the outside. So right now I have a, that, that 200 watt RV that I use to, um, chase the sun. So yeah, I only have 260 on my roof. <laughs> That's all I need. And especially with the blue Eddie now. All right. Congratulations to the winner.
who was the winner? Judy, right? Judy, you are the winner. Email me at Carolyn's RV Life. Tell me what you won. You win this shirt. I'm not sure if I still have it available in V-neck. If you want V-neck, let me know and I will make it. Um, I do still have the interstate house batteries. Yes. Yeah, so email me at Carolyn's RV Life. So here's 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 life as a full time RVer. Every winter, I think they're dead. <laughs> every 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 fall, I'm like my batteries aren't doing well. Uh, this year, you know, I was plugged in all summer, and as soon as I hit the road, I'm like. My batteries are at 12, one at six o'clock. They're dead. They're dumb. I hate these batteries. I'm getting rid of them. I'm getting Trojans. These batteries suck. But now I'm in, I'm in the desert again and I have full sun and my batteries are floating by noon. All five. So they're still, they're still holding on, man. <laughs> Every time I think they're, and I, last time I checked the water, they weren't doing so well, so I don't treat them all that well either. They they were really low in water, and they had a lot of corrosion. So I cleaned them up and filled them up with water. And yeah, these interstates, man, I I, I keep thinking they're not good. But what's it been? Two and a half years? Did I get? Yeah, two and a half years. The same years I got the tires. So the tires were two and a half years old. And they, you know, it was okay. One of them was bad. That's coming in a video, but um. The east is really bad for solar in fall and winter. Yes and no. Um, it, it, my experience in the fall is that it's a little bit better because the trees don't have leaves. So you get a little bit more sun in the fall than you do in the summer. But winter, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I can't even imagine the winter. But And... Uh, yeah, and the rig is doing really well. Um, you know, no leaks because I've been in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of rain. New York, man, there's a lot of rain in New York. And uh, everything is doing really well. So, yeah. All right. Do y'all mind if I take a little, I'll take a little break? How can I do this? Can I mute myself? Uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> hmm. Oh, a female narcissist. Oh, those are the worst. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta take five. I wonder though. Hmm. Hmm. You wanna see Sadie? Well, hello, everyone. How are you? Did you miss me? <laughs> Walking away from my own party? All right. 
to Pam are your garbage cans. Oh my gosh, under three feet of snow. Wow. All right. Merry Christmas, ZP. Good to see you. And Marge, more than two horrible women bosses who wanted power. I wonder if it's different in corporate than it is. I've always, so the, the, the two women bosses I've had have been the owners of their own small businesses. Um, I bet it's actually, <laughs> I, I've had some clients in corporate, women, female bosses in, or not bosses, but clients in corporate and corporate's very, very different. So no, I'm not in court site. No. What is my dream rig? Four wheel drive, something, something with four wheel drive that has, that doesn't leak. <laughs> Like I need a tank. I need a like. What are those? I could probably one of those Land Rover things. Although I'm not crazy about the inside of those. What do they call the land? Those two hundred fifty thousand dollar. No, I don't think I can mute myself on a live stream. Let me see. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, look at that! All the way at the bottom, I can. Government. Yeah, I would imagine government. Oh my gosh, four-wheel drive would be amazing. Oh, if I could have like a custom-built RV, if I, an earth roamer. Yes, Sarah, that's what it is. Oh, if I like had all the money in the world. You didn't hear me anyway. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. So yeah, now I know next time. Yeah. Hovercraft getting, no getting stuck in the sand. Yeah. That would be nice. It would be nice. One with all the water tanks inside winterized. My water tanks are inside kind of under my bed. I think most of them all, well, not the, not the gray and the, I wouldn't want my gray tank inside, but yeah, that would be nice. The fan was perfect, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> wow. Thank you, uh, Lori. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh. Wait a minute. We've got, oh, yeah, 3.30. <sighs> Taking a little break to talk amongst ourselves. Yep. You could be a chat with Ranger Carolyn. Yeah. I don't miss towing a car. Well, I can't miss what I've never had. But I... Yeah, I do like going bare... Oh, I'm not going to show you my ugly feet, though, right now. My feet are gross. But yes, <laughs> do I like going barefoot? As a matter of fact, I just shared this story. Oh, I shared this story with patrons. <laughs> I was camping on... Somebody asked me about Padre Island. I, I camped on Padre Island, Padre Island, right near Corpus Christi. So that's coming soon. And I was like, oh, this is lovely. I can walk on the beach and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. And I was walking on the beach all barefoot, right? And then the first morning I was there, I was like, I got to go up to the ranger station to get a national park pass so I can camp here for free. Three miles round trip, half of it rode. I went barefoot <laughs> and I got the blisters to show it. <laughs> I couldn't walk for three days. I walked three miles round trip, half of it on pavement, barefoot and had, uh, oh my gosh, I had a lot of blisters. Not one of my smartest moves ever. <laughs> Never dawned on me that I might get blisters walking. I mean, I walk three miles almost every day, but not barefoot. Uh, yeah, that was silly of me. I do silly things sometimes without thinking. Yeah. I know, right? Dawn said if I had an earth roamer, my uh, viewers would go have heart attacks. I know part of me thinks that I would um, uh, be dangerous in a four-wheel drive. That I would still, in, I, I'd like end up rolling down a cliff or something. <laughs> Probably. Although I will say that I'm not quite as um, daring as I used to be because I've been there, done that. I've been stuck. I've been on so many scary roads that I, I've, I've calmed down a little bit since I've been on the road. I don't know if it's age or just been there, done that. Don't need to do it again. But yeah. 
I don't have, I didn't have my summer feet. Yeah, I guess. I don't really, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't really walk around as barefoot. barefoot I mean, for me, probably winter feet. I probably walk around barefoot more in the winter in the desert, but uphill both ways, TD. No, <laughs> no. And it wasn't even hot. The blacktop wasn't even hot or the, the pavement. No, good earthing. That's what I was thinking, Judy. That's it. And that's why I do try to go out because I, I believe that it's a it's called grounding too sometimes, right? Uh, it makes sense to me. You know, we're all connected and uh, it makes sense to me that that helps. And that's part of the reason I did it. I was like, I'm going to gonna walk up there barefoot. It'll be really good for me, you know, but yeah, flip flops, I think would have been worse. I wear Crocs. I love my Crocs. Yeah, grounding. Yep. <laughs> TD says sometimes your heart's in her throat. I keep telling myself, <laughs> you know, I hope people recognize, realize that, you know, and I know in the moment it's kind of hard. You're probably like, Ugh, and then you're like, well, she posted this, so she must be alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I love my Crocs. Me too. I live in them. I've got three pair right now. I bought a pair. They were on sale. Oh, here, I'll show them to you. They were on sale over the summer. And there, there were Crocs. And they were on sale like half off probably because most people thought they were ugly. But look, aren't they adorable? They're real Crocs. And I got them like super cheap. And there were Crocs. So they're going to be amazing in the desert. Look it. But I have two other pairs that I'm still wearing out. But aren't those cute? They came up on Amazon, like half price. And I'm like, okay, I love them. I can't resist. Here. Yeah, so. And I go through Crocs like crazy because I wear them all the time. You got the same ones at TG Maxx. Yeah. Aren't they cute? I love them. All right. 3.30. Thank you, Ralph, for keeping us on track. All right. Wow. Time is flying. Oh, I'm going to give away another logo t-shirt. I'm going to give away another one of these. Oh, this is a fun one. For the next 30 seconds, correct answers. I will choose one at random. True or false for a Carolyn's RV Life logo shirt. True or false. One of my solo safety tips one of my solo safety tips is to put, this is mine, my solo safety tips, not whatever else you've heard on the internet, but one of my, <laughs> Papa Murph, I haven't even asked the question yet. One of my solo safety tips is to put an NRA sticker on the outside of your rig. True or false? Hey, JJ from AZ. Aw, thank you for the super chat, for the treats for the pup. That'll buy her some bully sticks. We're out of bully sticks. I need to go get her some. True or false? Putting a, an NRA sticker on your RV is a good safety deterrent, a good safety measure. According to Carolyn. According to Carolyn. I don't know what other people say, but I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> All right. Wow. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Thank you, Ralph. All right. The answer is false. And the reason I heard this early on, the, the I've never given that as a safety tip. And the reason I've heard is because putting an NRA sticker on your RV could be reason for some people to break in. They're going to think you have guns on board. So... I have never recommended that because I think that makes a lot of sense. If you put a big old NRA sticker on your on your RV and your RV is parked in the middle of nowhere and you're gone for the day on a hike and people recognize that you're gone, they're going to think you have guns. So, false. And the winner is Grace Levine. Grace Levine is the winner. You win a t-shirt. So email me at carolynsrvlife at gmail. Let me know what you won, what size, what color, and whether or not you want a V-neck or not. <laughs> Just knock my glasses off. And I will get it out to you ASAP. Thank you all so much for playing.
All right. Yeah, so the answer was false. Yeah, and also law enforcement to inspect. That's an excellent point because there's a lot of issues. Well, you know, different state laws and stuff like that. So, yes. So, also, if you're driving through the state with restrictions, I imagine. Yeah, I. it's not a good idea. Um, I'm having fun. Solo female says I'm very generous giving out gifts. So, I think I just, this is my way. I feel like, like, I don't know. I enjoy this. And it's also just a, a fun way to give back. You know, you all do so much to support me throughout the year by watching my videos and giving my videos thumbs up and all the moral support and all the kindness and this is just one small way that I can give back. And and I know that some people uh, look forward to this and I look forward to it and it's fun. So uh, it's my pleasure. I get a lot out of this. So thank you. I get it. I love, I love, I love this. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I think, gosh, I'm going to have to look. I feel like I don't have any V-necks on my store right now. So I'll look. I don't know why I wouldn't have V-necks on my shirt. Because I love V-necks. Because I don't like stuff around my neck. I'm glad you're having fun. Yay. I'm so glad you're all having fun. What do y'all... Uh, let me see. Do you have any questions for me? Have I ever had an ET experience while boondocking or paranormal? No. Nope. You all like V-necks. Yeah, I got to Yeah, me too. Me too. And this one, I don't remember. I'm going to have to look and make sure I have this on my store. Because I love this one. It's soft. It's comfy. It's big enough. Some of them, you know, they come in different sizes. Some are too tight. So I really like this one. All right. Uh, I already talked about that. I, I did go through Texas. I spent a lot of time in Texas, actually. I camped on Padre Island for a while, right on the beach. That's coming soon. Um, what's the happiest place that I have visited? I don't believe in ghosts. Um, Yada Linda is disqualified. Yada, Yaya Linda is disqualified. Um, what was the question? I had my first taste of vegan butter today. Did you have the Miyoko's real butter? The real Miyoko's in the brick? It's the best. Oh, the happiest place I've ever been. Slab City. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Disneyland, <laughs> the happiest place on earth. <gasps> hmm. Um, let me see. Have I ever seen a UFO? Is it difficult driving in the sand? So have I ever seen a UFO? I did see something really weird one time on a hiking trip. It was one of my backpacking trips to train for the John Muir trail. So way before I ever started doing videos or was on the road and I saw a a really big glowing light. I first saw it out of the corner of my eye. It dropped and then it shot in the opposite direction. Huge round light dropped and shot super fast in the other direction. And I watched it go and go and go and go until I couldn't see it anymore. But, oh my God, I love Miyoko's. So good. So good. But they're making a plant-based they're, 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 so, you know, Miyoko is a real person who started the company. She started making the cheese and everything. She sold the company and they cha they've changed their, their brick butter, their regular, they've changed the recipe to, to make it cheaper. And it's not as good. Uh, I don't think it's made out of cashews anymore. I think it's made out of mostly oat milk and it's not as good as the cashew. So if you can ever find, and it's expensive, it's probably like seven bucks, but the cashew is better, but um, the most welcome place, you know, every place, every place I go is kind. The people are wonderful. I'm going to tell you, I was really new upstate New York <laughs> where I'm from. You know, I couldn't believe I kept telling my mother, people are so friendly. 
Uh, every place I go, I meet friendly people. I, I mean, I can't think of any state, even Texas, and and you and I share my thoughts as I travel through Texas. I use it's a state I usually avoid for for my own personal reasons, but there are kind, wonderful, helpful people everywhere, and I I think you attract what you put out. And I try to be kind everywhere. I mean, sure, I have my moments where I get cranky and where I complain and I get tired and people are too close to me. But if for the most part, I go through life expecting the best of people. And I think that's why I often get disappointed because I, I think people, I, I, it's, it's kind of crazy. Everything I have been through in my life, I still think people are generally good. And I think that when you approach life like that, I think that's what you get back. And so, um, yeah. And I also think the internet kind of gives us a false sense of, I don't know, or maybe people are fake in real life and they're horrible, they're horrible selves online. I don't know, because, you know, we, we, we are seeing a lot of infighting and a lot of, a lot of things online, a lot of fighting and a, just a lot of meanness online, just the political environment and everything. But I don't know, every state I've been to, I meet, I meet good people. Uh, yes, I've seen Bigfoot and I talked about that many, many times. And, uh, up to, and, the, and, and the thing about two upstate New York, very friendly drivers, really friendly. I think I, I I think someday I want to do a video about like the top 10 states for this, the top 10 states for that, since I've been to almost everyone. Uh, the, the most um, courteous drivers in upstate New York. I mean, like I was blown away. Like they recognize that I'm in a big rig and they'd be like, and they'd stop and be like, go ahead. I mean, just really friendly, friendly. Uh, dri what's the word I'm looking for? Not courteous. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not courteous. Courteous. What's eight hundred thousand dollars? I've done a couple top ten videos on my channel. They don't do very well. They are trying to keep us separated and arguing so we can keep just bingo TD absolutely a thousand percent. And that's what is so tragic. I don't want to get too deep today, but that's what's so tragic. Um, respectful, considerate. Yes. Considerate Tina. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Considerate drivers in upstate New York. Uh, it wasn't scary seeing Bigfoot because you don't really realize what you're seeing. Cause you're like incredulous. You're like, it can't be, that can't be. How can I, how can I see, I mean, if, you know, all the rare sightings, but I still can't explain what I saw. Um, you are all worth a hundred thousand dollars RV. Nice. Have I seen wild cats? Yes. Sadie treed, <laughs> Sadie treed um, a bobcat in Utah a few years ago. Uh, she, I saw her chase something across the road and I'm like, shit, what is it? And I go over and I look up in the tree and it's face like three feet away from me is staring down at me. The most beautiful cat I've ever seen. Thank God it was a bobcat and not a freaking cougar. And I'm pretty sure in Colorado last year, we saw a cougar. It was really quick. Uh, Sadie and I were at a very, very remote spot in Colorado. We're walking down the dirt road and there's a hill above me and Sadie's off leash and she's next to me. And uh, I look up and I just caught a glimpse of the body and the long tail. I'm pretty sure it was a cougar. Uh, that's pretty much all. I mean, lots of coyotes aren't cats. Um, I think that's it. I mean, it's amazing. I haven't seen more um, mountain lions. <clears throat> it really is. Almost everybody I know has seen mountain lions. I, I never have. I'm sure they've seen me. <laughs> no, I haven't seen a skinwalker. I So I think I saw Bigfoot in Alaska. And if you just want to go to my channel and search Bigfoot, I've told the story three, four, five times. So you can, you can, uh, you can hear it. Uh, have you ever thought about setting up your camera in slow mode outside at night to record our planet? So interesting that you ask. I don't have the tools to do that. Uh, night photography is definitely something I would love to do, but even my GoPro, I've tried doing it with my GoPro and I, and I can't get anything. I bought a new camera 
So I bought, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I finally bought a real camera, a real camera with uh, interchange. It's called, they used to call it a 35 millimeter. I bought a mirrorless full frame camera with interchangeable lenses, a real camera. So I can start bringing you guys real videography, real photography, slowing down, really showing you all the beautiful, calming nature. I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like that's really what I want my channel to be more calm. Cause I think we all need calm. I struggle with that. Uh, you know, I, I share my opinions about things and I really struggle because I understand that a lot of people just want an escape from it too. And I, I have internal struggles a lot about, do I want to share political views? Do I just want to share nature? Um, but I feel like it's too important to uh, never talk about it. But I do want to bring you more calming, relaxing na nature. Oh, I've seen millions. I've seen <laughs> I've seen millions of bears. Not millions. I've seen a lot of bears. Oh, we've seen a lot of bears. We've had bears in our camp. All right. Yes. Oh, and you love my history lessons. Thank you. I love doing that. All right. America, you're a calming, yeah, fascinating. Well, thank you. That really, that that's a very nice compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. I got to do some administration stuff here real quick. So chat amongst yourselves because we're going to get ready to give away the big grand prize. But first I got to make some adjustments because I have to follow the rules and regulations that I set forth. <laughs> Getting all formal, all right. But how come I can't? Just give me one second. All right, here we go. All right, <clears throat> sorry, give me one second. Chat amongst yourselves. Why don't you tell us what you're, uh, what you're eating today? <clears throat> what are you having for your holiday meal? Oh, my connection's slow. Of course it is. What are you having for your holiday meal? All right, so I gotta make I gotta change some settings before we move on to the next big thing. And it's gonna be what did I what did I say? 36, 40. Wait a minute. Friday, Saturday, 48. What's 48 plus 12? 60. So I gotta do 60 hours. Okay. All right, right? 60 hours is two and a half days, right, everyone? Two and a half days is 60 hours? <clears throat> All right. Now, we are giving away the grand prize. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bluetti, who is a wonderful sponsor of my channel. They are giving away. No, you can you can post more than once. They are giving away a Blue Eddy power station, an EB3A. So if you watched that video, you know right now, if you want to enter to win the Blue Eddy EB3A, enter the secret code, the secret phrase now. And yeah, everybody who can currently comment is eligible to win. I, so, uh, you had to be, you guys are, yay, you all know it. Awesome. 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 So yes, I turned off anybody who does not qualify should not be able to comment right now. That's why I had to turn it off. So, wow. Oh, this is going to be hard. Holy cow. Um, oh, what did I decide I was going to do? All right. Wow, I'm gonna have to cut it off. How am I gonna choose? Yo, 60 seconds. Yeah, I, you have 60 seconds to enter the code. So let's make it. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. Wow, you all pay attention, man. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. 
All right. So I think we're going to go about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to shut it down. All right. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. They've been paying attention. I know. I'm impressed. I only had a few people. I was really impressed. You guys are all really, really smart. I only had a few people not follow directions, instructions. So, all right. I think we're going to, I seem like, I, I lost my timekeeper. <laughs> all right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Contest is over. Stop. Oh my gosh. How am I ever going to decide? You know what? One of my mods, do you want to, Sarah, do you want to choose the winner? <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll do it. I don't want to. I don't want to put that pressure on you. Actually, I can't because you're you're eligible to win. So sorry, I can't do that. All right. Wow. All right. So, I I will now choose a winner. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. I want you all to win. I want you all to win. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sarah, give me a number one to a hundred. Sarah, give me a number one to a hundred. And you can leave it in comments, not text. One to a hundred. Holy crap. Seventy-seven. All right, so I'm going to scroll up seventy-seven times. Um, Carol Gore, are you still here? Give me a number one to twenty. Carol Gore, sorry, I think she. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do a random scroll. Are you still here, Carol? Yeah, I know she said seventy-seven, but I need another number. I'm going to scroll seventy-seven times, but then I need another number. I know, I need another number, one to 10. Or no, I look at one to 20. Carol, I need another number, one to 20. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna scroll up 77 times and then I'm gonna go five down and that's gonna be the winner. Two, okay, all right, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh, 13. Huh. Oh, it won't let me scroll up 77 times. Okay. Then I'm just going to scroll up as much. As, why, okay. What's going on? Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Oh, well, it's not letting me scroll up 77 times. I thought I had at least 100 pages here. So I'm going to go seven. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, five down, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Carolyn Freebird, ACW, Carolyn Freebird, ACW, you are the winner. Carolyn Freebird, you are the winner. Email me within 24 hours at Carolyn's RV life at gmail.com. Congratulations. You are the free bird. Car was it Carolyn Freebird? I don't even remember. Contest is over. The winner is Carolyn Freebird. Congratulations. I really wish I could give one to everybody. Congratulations, Carolyn Freebird. Are you still here? Congratulations, congratulations. Wow. 
Oh, Smooth Skater, I saw the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the super chat. All right, it, Carolyn Freebird, are you still here? Hi, Emmy. Hey, uh, nice to see you. Friendly's club member for five months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She is here. Where is she? Freebird. Oh, there. Yep, you're here. Congratulations. You are the winner. I will. Uh, Bluetti is amazing. The last one who won, she got it within a couple weeks. So congratulations. You won. Bye, Smooth Skater. Thank you for checking in. Were you only... I almost forgot this. Uh, I really wish I could give away more. I want to give away more. I'll give away some stickers. <laughs> Anybody want some stickers? Do you want some stickers? I really wish I could give more. I want to give one to everybody. I want to give one to everybody. All right. Well, congratulations. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you're able to use it. Okay. You guys want some stickers? So what was I going to do? I'm going to give away some stickers. Here's what you have to do though. Cause I can't give one to everybody. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I need a question for stickers. Uh, spoken TC. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Spoken TC. Thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Yes, I was only counting in the time to start to finish time frame. I think. I mean, I did the best I could. Yes. This is kind of an inexact science. You know, I do the best I can. But it looked to me like she was well within the, the time frame. I think anybody who did not, uh, yeah, she was definitely in the time frame because otherwise she would have been all the way at the bottom and she wasn't. She was seven up and five up. Blue Eddie is awesome. They have been an amazing, amazing partner. So um, where is the furthest north? I stuck a sticker, the Alaska sign. All right, stickers, stickers, stickers. How can I, what can I do? I can't give a sticker to everybody. Um, it was a great way to do the drawing. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for helping. It's weird though. I couldn't go up. I guess I went all the way to the top, but it wasn't 77 scrolls. <laughs> I guess I was, I, it, you guys were like commenting so fast. It looked like a lot more, I think, than it was. All right. Um. Um, yeah, I know I couldn't. Okay. So it, I, I wasn't just at the top. Yeah. I couldn't scroll up all the way. That really sucks. Well, I told everybody they could. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, you need a question. Don't use the sign now. What sign? Um, all right. I have a question. What state was I in? I actually wrote this down. I just wanted to do something else anyway, because I was prepared. I prepared this time. What state was I in a couple years ago? And I'm going to choose five, five correct answers to give stickers. What state was I in a couple years ago when the guys showed up after dark and wouldn't leave? They were revving their engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And, I, and I shot the video right afterwards. What state? That was a couple years ago. I'm not talking about North Carolina where they were taking crap out of their bed, shovels and stuff. I'm talking about a couple years ago and I'll choose five people. All right. I already see. Let me see. I'm going to choose five. Wow, you guys. Okay. Ooh. Shay, you win. Jeer 14, you win. Sally S, you win. Texas Lady, you win. Terry Short. Did you already win, Terry? You win. Arkansas. Arkansas. You know what? I'll choose a few more. No, because I already gave. So you guys, <laughs> I'm like a mess right now. I just want to give everything away. I, I need to stop. I'm going to give away myself broke. <laughs> All right. 
so you're all gonna win stickers you want you want what uh what stickers do i have i have stickers somewhere i think carolyn's rv life stickers so email me um email me at carolyn's rv life actually you, you can choose whatever sticker you want go to my website go to etsy.com carolyn's rv life shop etsy let me know what sticker you want i want you to be able to use it so let me know whatever sticker you want you could have one of the bumper stickers um, I was going to give these away, but I wasn't sure everybody, so you can even have one of these, my newest. So go to my Etsy store, let me know what you want, and I will send it to you. Don't give away my RV. I'm not giving away my RV, but yeah. Yeah, Arkansas was the answer. So congratulations, everybody who won. Let me know what stickers you want, and I will be, I will get them out to you. Thank you. That was fun. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, isn't this cute? I break for boondocking. <laughs> I also have this on a mug, I think. So, well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, that was a lot of fun. I think it gets better every year. I was a little more organized this time, and it just felt like more fun. Did you guys have fun? Do you like this? Is this format fun? Do you have any suggestions for next year? This is me asking for advice. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, do you have any suggestions for next year? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have a Be Kind sticker. Yes, yeah, so go to my go to my Etsy store and let me know what you want and I'll send you. I have a Be Happy, Be Free, Be Kind one. I have a Carolyn's RV Life. I have all kinds of stuff, so. My email is carolynsrvlife at gmail.com. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for being here. Are you in you're in are you in Quincy, California? I need someone to go back with me to my mom's house. I need a buffer. <laughs> Good luck with that. Perfect just the way you are. Thank you, Kitty Cat. That's very sweet. It was fun. You can have a moderator take down the names of winners. That way they can send you the list when you receive emails from people. Now, you know, it hasn't been a problem so far. And I feel I could, I could, but my moderators are volunteers. I, thank you. That's good advice. I appreciate it. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> uh, tell Blue Eddie you need to do more giveaways. Yeah, and thank you all so much for being respectful. Good comments. Good crowd today. I would love to be able to give away 100 Blue Eddies. You know, I used to do that. This is a good reminder. I think I think that's a good idea. Maybe from now on, part of my sponsorship deals will be to give me one to give away. We'll see. That would be fun. We'll I don't know if they, I don't know how many sponsors would do that. Blue Eddie is very kind, very generous. Love them. They pay super fat. I got to tell you, amazing. They are amazing partners, amazing product, excellent customer service. Uh, they, I just can't say enough about them. I do have honest friendlies. I do. I have the best audience in the world. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking a lot lately that there's that saying that um, who you hang out with is a reflection of who you are or who your friends are, you know, like the company you keep. I think it's the company you keep is a reflection of who you are. And I got to tell you, when I think about it that way, when I look at the people who are my friends and who are a part of my world, whether it's online or offline, I, I have I have the best people. I have the very best people. <laughs> Sorry. But, you know, uh, it, it, it really hits home that uh, how lucky I am. So I appreciate that. So thank you all very much for being a part of my friendly community. Thank you for spending a little bit of your holiday with me. And uh, don't forget winners to email me. This was so much fun and I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'll see you sometime in my next video and I'll see you next year for another wonderful live stream. But I'll see you before then. We'll be doing more live streams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Have a great day. I appreciate you. Bye. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.